Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Birch Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this tr Christmas Traditions ornament, which you can see here in front of you. This is a simple yet beautiful crochet ornament made from a traditional granny circle. I have uh, used small amounts of a lightweight yarn and uh, here and in the tutorial I'm going to be using this True Boo yarn which is 100% uh, rayon from Bamboo by Lion Brand Yarn. And uh, I'm using three colors. You can mix it up, use as many or as few colors as you would like. Uh, but you're going to need small amounts of each, 20, maybe 30 yards uh, of each of your colors. So I used about 60 yards altogether. You're also going to need a 4-inch macrame hoop which you can find at your local craft stores, as well as a four millimeter crochet hook. Now links to each of these items, as well as the free written pattern can be found uh, on richtexturescrochet.com and the direct link is in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here, I invite you to take a look around. There's many other Christmas ornaments here for you to take a look at. This channel is updated weekly with new free patterns. And of course, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And if you happen to make this ornament or are about to try it, let me know down in the comments how it goes. Our pattern today is worked in rounds and we're going to be starting uh, with this center color here. And again, I'm going to be changing uh, through three different colors today in the tutorial, uh, but you can switch it up if you'd like. So I'm going to start by making my slip knot. And then you're going to make a foundation chain with five chains. So chain five. And then join with a slip stitch into that first chain. You're now all set to begin round one. For round one, continue working with your color A, chain four, and this counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. Next, work one double crochet followed by one chain stitch. You're going to do that for a total of 11 times. So we've worked the first one. You want to work 10 more double crochets and then chain one all into the center of your ring. So I'm just working right into the center, double crochet, chain one. Because your chain four at the beginning counts as a stitch, this yarn does tend to split a little bit. Uh, because the chain four counts as a stitch and chain one space, uh, at the end of this round you're going to have a total of 12 stitches and 12 chain one space spaces. This is really splitting on me here. It's hard to do it while I'm on video. There we go. Once you've worked all the way around, you have your chain one. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into your third chain of that starting chain four. At this time, you can then fasten off your color A. If you wish, if you like to weave in your ends as you go, you may do that as well. I'm going to wait until the end. For round two, beginning in any chain one space you're going to join your color B with a slip stitch next chain three and this counts as a double crochet stitch Into that same chain one space, work one more double crochet and chain one. 
Skip the next double crochet into your next chain one space, work two double crochet stitches, followed by a chain one. You're going to repeat that all the way around in each chain one space. So into the next chain one space, work two double crochet stitches, and chain one, repeat it all the way around, joining with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three when you come all the way around. At the end of round two, join with a slip stitch into the top of your turning chain and then you can fasten off your color B and weave in, in your ends if you would like. Next we're going to join our color C and in, again into any chain one space. And you're going to chain three and then into that same space work two double crochet stitches. Chain one, skip the next two double crochets into the next double cro uh, chain one space work three double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way around chain one into the next chain one space work three double crochet stitches repeat it all the way around until you come to your first stitch and uh, chain one and join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of your round three, when you come all the way back to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Actually, I'm just going to go back because I need to chain one and then join. You can then fasten off your color C. I'm now going to switch back to my color A for round four in any chain one space, join with the slip stitch, and then chain three. For round four, you're going to work three double crochet stitches all into that same chain one space. Skip the next three double crochet stitches and into the next chain one space work four double crochet stitches. So this time around there is no chain one in between uh, the sets of four stitches. So it's four double crochets in the next chain one space. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next three double crochet stitches and work four double crochets into the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way around. Join with a slip stitch in the top of your starting chain three. For round five, taking your color B, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch into any of the double crochet stitches. And chain one. 
Next, you're simply going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So single crochet into that first stitch, the same stitch as joining, and then into each stitch all the way around your uh, granny circle. Now you may find that your circle curls in a little bit at this round. Don't worry though because once we put it onto our macrame ring we are really going to stretch it out. So work one single crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around and uh, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Fasten off and you can weave in uh, any loose ends. Now at the end of round five, this is what your piece should look like. And again, you can see it is curling in a little bit, but don't worry about that because it's going to stretch out quite a bit when we get it onto this ring. So what you're going to do to put your uh, granny circle onto your ring, simply place it inside. And then I like to insert my hook into any stitch, anywhere all the way, uh, on the final round and join your yarn grab a hold of your yarn bring it through under the ring and under that first stitch and join it with a slip stitch and chain one we're now going to work single crochet stitches and two single crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around so that's our chain one into this first stitch we're just going to insert our hook into the stitch reach across grab a hold of the yarn and bring it under the macrame ring and back out again that's our first stitch and you're going to work one more stitch into that same stitch now if you would prefer you can work one stitch in each stitch all the way around uh, it's just that more of your ring, that's what I did with this one here, you can see more of the ring will kind of show through. Um, but if you work two in each stitch, it kind of closes it off quite nicely. So that was my first stitch. Into the next stitch, I'm working around that macrame ring. I'm going to work two single crochet stitches into the next stitch. And uh, it is a little bit finicky for these early stitches because it's uh, it takes a little bit to get used to hanging on to everything. But again, just grab a hold and bring it under, working two stitches in each. So you're going to repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Once you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And at this time, there's no need to fasten off. We have one final step to work, and we're going to work a hanger for our ornament. So what we're going to do is chain 20, and you want your stitches to be fairly loose because we're going to work back into them. Four, five, six. There's 10. and 20. Once you have 20 chain stitches worked, you're going to then join back with a slip stitch into that same stitch as joining. Chain one and turn your work. We're now going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across that chain that we made. So uh, it's up to you. I like to work into the back bumps of my chain stitches. So you're simply going to slip stitch in each all the way back across. Uh, this is just going to make your hanger a little bit thicker. Again, if you would prefer just to leave it as the chain stitches, uh, you're welcome to do that. It's completely up to you. So you're going to slip stitch in each chain all the way back across. And uh, then when you come back to the end, join with the slip stitch, fasten off, and weave in your ends. And then your Christmas traditions ornament is complete. So that's all there is 
to working this ornament. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. And uh, if you have a chance to make this project, I would love to hear about it. You can share photos with me on social media. So uh, until I see you next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.